In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create basic flowchart diagram in Microsoft Visio. I'm going to select basic flowchart template and click on it. And as you see, uh, as I already mentioned, Visio added a lot of uh, shapes that you typically use um, with flowchart diagrams to create flowchart diagrams. And it grouped them into the basic flowchart uh, diagram stencils. It also added some other relevant shapes, for example, cross-functional flowchart shapes, if you would like to do swim lane diagram. And if you need more shapes, you can select um, shapes are categorized based on categories, business engineering flowchart, and you can go down the list. To add more shapes, you just select and you see now we have basic flowchart shapes, cross-functional flowchart shapes, uh, and then basic shapes. To start creating diagram, all you need to do is drag and drop the item from the left onto the screen. And um, you can zoom in and you can zoom out. Let's look before we start drawing actual diagram at the menu. And uh, as for any other Office application, Microsoft uses ribbon bar uh, for Visio as well. Uh, ribbon bar consists of multiple selection choices. File choice is unique, uh, but home, insert, design, data, and other tabs. As you can see, I can move between them by, by clicking on the tab. If we look at the home tab, we have uh, items grouped into based on the particular category like clip, clip, clipboard is one of the groups and it contains all operations related to clipboard font is another group and you can kind of go from left to right and see everything that's available on the home tab each tab consists of uh, different groups uh, and uh, you can select icons based on the function that you're trying to accomplish in Visio. Some of the functions like font, they have a details uh, button. And uh, if you click on this, it brings a, a, a dialog box which contains all items that are relevant to the font. And this items couldn't fit into the font group on the ribbon toolbar. So Microsoft created a special dialog box where you can go and select everything you need related to the font. In this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the student enrollment process. And uh, on this diagram, as you can see, we already have one box on the diagram. You can zoom in and get a little bit closer, and that's what I'm going to do, or you can zoom out. So once we have the box, we can drag and drop it on the screen. And there are a couple options how we can add additional boxes. So for example, we need a second box uh, first one would be student submitting registration form. Uh, second box would be a decision point, and decision points typically on the flowchart diagram represented by diamonds. And this is the diamond that we're going to drag here on the screen. Um, now let's add a text here. And what I did, I double clicked on the rectangle, and I'm just going to start typing on the keyboard. You see the cursor is flashing, so I can just say student submit the registration form now i am going to create an arrow and connect it with the arrow uh, and for that i'm going to switch to the connector and as you can see as i hover on top of the rectangle um, it changes the connection point from black and adds a green rectangle and I'm going to glue one connection point from the rectangle to the diamond. I'm going to switch back to the pointer tool, double click on the diamond and type here, form complete. Put a question mark here because this is a decision point. And now I can draw a line from connector, uh, from uh, diamond back to the submission form and going to indicate no. And you see now I didn't double click, I just had the connector selected and I started typing. And uh, I hit enter. Or I need to switch back to the pointer tool. And I do have no here. 
you see how many clicks I had to do and switch between pointer tool and connector. So fortunately, Microsoft created much easier way for us to add additional shapes. To do that, uh, you need to select, for example, diamond, and you know that the next shape would be a rectangle. So what you do, you hover, and you see this uh, light blue hovers available in different directions where you can actually add a shape. Um, and I did not click anything, I just hovered, and you see that I have rectangle, uh, I have square and circles here, so I'm just going to select rectangle, and uh, I'm going to unselect everything just to show you that it not just added a rectangle, but it also added an arrow and connected arrow. It connected diamond and rectangle, and it connected uh, it where I started hovering and selecting the rectangle. So that makes adding shapes much, much faster. To type a text, you need to select and start typing. So we're going to start, uh, start typing next step in the process. Verify details of submission. And if I click enter, it will just go to the next line. So I can click escape. That's one of the options. Or with the mouse, I can just click outside of the rectangle and it will uh, finish adding a text to the rectangle. Now, as you can see, I'm in the basic shapes right now, but I'm creating flowchart diagram. So some of the shapes are interchangeable, but let's say I don't see the letter shape as one of the steps in the process is to write an acceptance letter. So I scrolled here and I see that I mistakenly uh, started doing the diagram with basic shapes. So Visio provides an, a very cool feature where you can replace one shape with another shape. So for example, we have just a rectangle shape in the basic shapes, but we can replace it with the process shape. So we just have to be in the basic flowchart shape, select the shape, and then we change shape, and uh, we uh, select the process shape from the change shape diagram. Then we need to select diamond, and we can replace diamond with the decision. And here we can replace rectangle with the process shape, right? Uh, nothing stops us from replacing diamond, for example, with rectangle. Let me demonstrate this. So I selected diamond right now. Let me make it a little bit closer so you can see. And I can just change shape and replace it with rectangle. Right? So it would be process shape. Uh, but I, I'm not happy with the result. This is not what I intended to do. So I can undo this operation. And there are multiple ways to undo everything. So you can click undo here um, on the quick toolbar. or you can see these are all the shapes that we've done so far. You can undo many, many steps. And let's say by mistake, I undid too many uh, steps. So now I can redo. That's another button. And it will complete all the steps up to that point. So the only thing I need to undo now is to go back to diamond as a decision point. Now we would need to add a couple more steps about accepting or rejecting the submission. And if submission is accepted, then we'll write acceptance letter. If it's rejected, then we notify a student uh, about the rejection. So to do that, we go into decision shapes. Remember I showed you, you can drag and drop. Very similar process. Doesn't matter which uh, stencils you use in Visio. Or we can select the shape, a rectangular shape, and then add a decision point diamond type accept submission question mark. If we say yes, then we say write acceptance letter and let's draw an acceptance letter back to the student. I didn't select the shape type, but I can change the shape letter. So I can just say acceptance letter. And as I mentioned, all I need to do is select acceptance letter and I can change the shape. And this is the letter shape. And this would be my acceptance letter. It's a basically a document shape, not necessarily a letter shape, but I'm going to use it as a document. And uh, here we would want to say yes. So I just need to select an arrow and say this is the yes condition. And in case there is no condition, I'll have an additional box here. Notify student on the rejection. Now, as we've done uh, with creation of the diagram, let's see what else we can do to make it look more professional. A couple of things I'd like to do is I'd like to make it more readable. 
and there's no better way to make it more readable um, than first of all to see if uh, something is missing for example um, you see that this is a diamond as a condition box looks like I missed the yes here so that's one of the condition uh, here I missed the no condition on this diamond box but besides that a couple other things you can do is uh, maybe to increase your fonts to make it more readable how would you increase font you need to select the shape so you need to make sure that you have the pointer tool selected maybe make it a little bit smaller so it fits select everything by uh, dragging and dropping and selecting the area now everything is selected and you can use the font increase uh, button here on the font size and you see how it goes and increases uh, font size now this is probably too much 12 pointers but i think 10 pointers was just the right size now you might like the uh, this default style but you can also change the styles and uh, in fact there is a very nice design tab here and you can switch uh, from one design to the other and pick the one that you'd like uh, there are also for example you like this design uh, i like a lot of contrast and a lot of bright colors um, but then you can switch to different variants this is one variant this is another variant and all of them are listed here same with the themes uh, for the selection you can click uh, modern theme for example or you can uh, pick one of the professional themes instead of just selecting first ones you can select the one that you like the most since we're in a design tab a couple other things you can do maybe select the background like right now we have a white background um, you can have maybe world domination background if this is applicable or if you don't like it just select Control Z and we'll go back to the white background now let's take another look at the diagram a couple other things that might be missing for simplicity purposes I didn't have a start or end point here but typically flowchart diagram um, does have start and end point so we're gonna select everything like I uh, did uh, for font selection by dragging and dropping the selection in the pointer tool and then what I'm going to do I'm gonna drag and drop start box and I can just say that this is start of the process by double clicking on it uh, and uh, I am going to connect it with the arrow here same thing you probably would want to do at the end point uh, and there are two end points one is to notify student on the rejection and then acceptance letter so it might make sense for us to uh, drag and drop the end point right here and then connect both acceptance letter and notification of the student um, right there so I didn't show you one other cool way of uh, adding shapes here uh, which is copy and paste so I'm gonna switch back to pointer tool uh, select the start you can do copy and if you do paste it pastes the box so in addition remember as we will recap uh, you have a way of just dragging and dropping the shape then you have a way of um, adding more shapes through this extensions um, copy and paste is uh, another way of how you can add shapes and now we need to connect it through the connector so I'm going to connect it from both notify student and the rejection and from the acceptance letter now as you can see and uh, if you uh, as you can see here uh, start and end have a little bit different font and let's double check this so start has eight points and start here is actually an end so we need to fix that and change that uh, so we would want to change this and obviously another way to change the font size is through the font selection and uh, same thing we would want to do so if you're planning to copy and paste that's really one advice I have for you um, you probably would want to change the way a box should look like whatever box it is or whatever shape it is and then copy and paste it so this way you don't have to change after the fact after you pasted it in uh, many places like we had to do right now as we continue let's let's look at the diagram uh, let's zoom out a little bit and see if this makes sense maybe we can optimize it a little bit more so to do that um, we can select selective part of the diagram and maybe drag it and you see arrow because they are connected they continue um, so this way it fits onto the page better um, and one of the coolest features of the Visio diagram obviously you can save it 
and what I typically like to do I save it as PDF file so I just click file save as first of all you probably would want to save the diagram itself um, and then here we'll just say basic flowchart diagram um, but as we save it as you have an option of saving it as PDF file and then it saves it as PDF and now it open in the browser but obviously you can open it up in um, PDF uh, reader I'm gonna close the edge browser close all tabs and I'm going to select everything and center it on the page so this way when we create a PDF from it it's a nice looking PDF and everything is on the center of the page now let's recap everything we did we started Microsoft Visio we've looked at the ribbon toolbar we looked at the navigation as you saw most of the actions I had to do were in the home tab I had to switch to design tab uh, to change different patterns uh, inside Visio we've looked at the zooming uh, toolbar another way to do zooming by the way is you click a view and then uh, zoom and it shows you specific zooming percentage or specific zooming ma magnification levels that you uh, like to do um, so we've looked at navigation we've looked at um, different uh, shape types that's available and we've added basic shapes we also looked at uh, how to add shapes by dragging and dropping uh, that's one way to add shapes um, then we've added uh, shapes through the uh, help extension right you see this light blue uh, uh, triangles that showed up uh, and then the third way was through copy and paste once we created a basic flowchart diagram and this was student registration process um, we selected the diagram and changed the uh, themes and variants uh, going in the design tab and going into variants tab and after we've completed the work we saved the file uh, as PDF file and another way to take advantage of this diagram is uh, by selecting it and I'm going to use copy and obviously you can paste it into uh, documents like Word so I'm just going to demonstrate it real quick um, and I'm going to show the Word document we have um, the diagram and clipboard and we'll just click paste and uh, the diagram as a single object is selected in Microsoft Word. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.